In this video, I want to cover uh, inserting audio and video into your PowerPoint presentation. Um, a lot of multimedia, very popular now. Uh, so we're going to go right to insert and we'll start with audio. Now, uh, if you have one, uh, an audio file on your PC, which you probably do, you then go find the uh, audio file and you just insert it. And there it is. And you're not stuck with putting it there. You can put it anywhere you want. And if you want, you can even hide it during the show. So that will not show. All right. Um, and then you can have it play on its own. So we'll, we'll get into the playing options uh, down the road. We're going to go through this, both toolbars. How about that? So uh, if you want to listen to it, you just hit play and you can listen to it. If you want to trim it, if you think it's too long, right? If the one, uh, if you didn't have a chance to edit it before bringing it in, you have the option right here within PowerPoint to trim it. So you can trim it from the beginning and you can trim it from the end. Um, I don't believe you have the option of trimming it in the middle like you would in a more sophisticated uh, program. You would have to use something like Audacity or whatever to do that kind of thing. But it's just neat to know that you can trim it from the beginning or from the end. You can do it from here or you can do it simply by dragging in here. So understand that you are able to trim this from one end or the other or both. Good. Uh, you, have, you can have a fade in or fade out so that it doesn't come in with full sound right off the bat and it can exit with another sound. That's nice when it's got music in the background or something. Not sure you want to do that with speech. Uh, you can adjust the volume. You've got four settings. Good. Uh, you can have this set automatically at a certain time. Okay. Um, or you can do it on click where you'd have to click on this and have it play. So. Uh, if you refer to the transitions and the custom animations videos, then you can get into how you get this to start automatically. All right. So it would be set in your custom animation. Uh, you can have something play across slides, across several slides, or you can have it just keep looping uh, until you want it to stop. And you can also have it rewind when it's done playing. So those are where you, those options are. You may be asked several of those or, or many of them, right? Um, audio styles, you can have no style or you can have it play in the background and that continuously plays across your slides in the background. So there are your settings for that. Uh, you can format, of course. Now, I don't know that you're going to spend an awful lot of time formatting this because most of the time you'll have it hidden or you'll have it in a corner someplace. So I don't see an awful lot of value in that. Uh, back to insert, audio, uh, oh, record audio. So here you're able to record your own. Before you start, you'll probably want to name it. So now here, this is just an example. It's not important. So I'm going to name it example. And then you would hit record. And whatever it is you speak, right, or, or music in the background, whatever it is you want to record, you're actually recording this right now. And then when you're done recording it, you would hit stop. And then you'd hit OK. And now um, I believe it's right there. Whatever it is you speak, right, or, or music in the background, whatever it is you want to record. And there you go. So you can bring one in. Uh, or you can record your own video now uh, once again you go online and uh, and if you can download one that's fine I, I typically like to download things onto my own drive and then bring them in from here so you can go video on my PC and then you'd find the video that you want and you'd insert it and it came in rather big now you need to know again we're gonna go through these menus um, we can start with format sure and you can start by sizing this now, your chances of formatting a video are much greater than an audio. And just understand you've got all these features available to you. I'm not sure that I would start playing with too much of this. This is more of a picture setting. Uh, however, understand that they're there. You can recolor, all right? So you can correction, color. You can put a frame, all right? You can use one of these video styles. You may be asked to do that, all right, in, in testing or whatever. It's a little bit out there, but understand that that is something that you may be asked to do. Uh, you can change the shape, which again, uh, I'm not sure that you'd want to do too much in the real world, but it is possible. But I understand it'll cut some stuff off. Borders. So all kinds of neat things. You may be asked to crop. Again, I don't know that I would do much cropping here. Uh, typically, whatever cropping you need to do, you would have done it in your video production. However, understand that you can crop this, right? So as to only show part of that window when you run this video. So that is an available feature. And of course, there's, you can size it from here or you can size it from here. You can rotate it. All right, so all kinds of crazy, goofy things that you can do to your video. Now, to playback, which is probably more important, uh, once again, you, the ability to play. 
Uh, once again, you can trim, all right? So you, you can trim from either end, okay? So if it starts kind of slow or if it drags on forever, like my videos often do, uh, you can trim the end so that you don't have to listen to that. Very easy, user-friendly, simple. Another fade in, fade out. Volume, same four settings. Same settings here. You can have it click. You can click it to get it started or you'll be able to set it in custom animation so that it'll start automatically. That's totally up to you. When you get to the slide, it would just play. Uh, you can play on a full screen. You can hide it when it's not playing so that you don't see anything at all. You can loop it until it stops. Right? If this was playing at a kiosk, you might want it to do that. And then you have the ability to rewind after playing. Very, very similar to the audio settings. So understand where to find these settings. You may be asked to do any um, of these things at any given time. Now, screen recording is what I'm doing now. Uh, I do screen recordings to record every single one of these videos. I don't use PowerPoint. Uh, I use something a little bit more robust called Camtasia. Um, there's also uh, Screencast-O-Matic, but apparently uh, you can do this in PowerPoint as well, and it's pretty straightforward. You just click this, and then you would ask where, what area would you like to do, right? So uh, oftentimes it's the entire screen, but it allows you to just, by selecting area, you would just click and drag the area that you wish to record, right? And then when you're ready, you would just record, and it would re record everything. Make sure you set your audio so that it's also recording your audio as you go. And um, I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm already recording and I'll probably just crash my machine by trying to record two things at once. But that's how you can uh, do a screen recording. I'm not sure whether they're gonna test you on that in this um, version of testing, but um, it, it bears talking about since we're here. So those are your main features and settings for inserting audio and video. Very user-friendly, very straightforward, uh, something that I'm seeing in more and more presentations in the real world.